We're back. So if you look at the screen, you'll notice that I've written a very sparse and very simple HTML5 document. And you can tell it's an HTML5 document by the doc type declaration at the top. The doc type declaration of an HTML4 document is a lot more complicated. So let's take a look back at what that would typically look like. So with HTML5, we get a much simpler doc type element. If you recall, the reason that we have a doc type element in the first place is so that the browser knows how to render the web page. But it also has a couple of ancillary uses, one of which includes using HTML validation services so that you can test your markup for errors. Another reason is that some browsers implement something called quirks mode and the way that they do it is by searching for a doc type HTML element and if they don't find it it implements the quirks mode and quirks mode is just a mechanism by which some web browsers deal with legacy issues and the next element down is the HTML element which is the element that encompasses the rest of the entire document the next one down is the head tag which you should be familiar with within the head tag there's a meta tag with an attribute of char set and it's assigned to UTF-8. So this is something new. Not the meta tag, but the attribute. As you recall, meta tags are used to convey information to search engines and other devices. And there's a new attribute called charset. So what does this do? Charset tells the browser what character encoding to use. Charset is thought to be an abbreviation for character set, but technically, as I just mentioned, the attribute represents the character encoding. The value that you assign to charset is the encoding value you wish to use. Typically you would use UTF-8 and be done with it. Now there are other character encodings so you might be wondering why we don't use some of those. So I'll go ahead and I'll briefly explain why. The very first character encoding that was ever available was called ASCII and it was English based. So of course this was very limiting and other encodings began to evolve. Eventually one came about called UTF-8 and this one encompassed most languages in the world and that in a nutshell is why you would want to use it. So moving on we have the closing head tag, we have the opening and closing body tags, and we have the closing HTML tag. All of that should be self-explanatory. In summary the two things that you should know for this lesson are this, that there is a new HTML5 doc type element and this is used to preface your document and you should have a good understanding of what this does. The other thing you should know is that the char set attribute of the meta tag exists and you should have a basic understanding of what this does. So that's basically it. So until our next video, bye bye.